to our Sunday morning service here filmed at St Nicholas Church. Each week we're reviewing in the light of the Covid situation what best to do on a Sunday and with our churches during the week. So please keep in touch with us uh, via the website or by phone. Uh, we'll be putting out information on WhatsApp as well. But this week on Wednesday via Zoom at 7 o'clock we'll have our Bible Book Club. We'll be sending out details about that shortly. So as we begin our act of worship, let's recognise God's presence with us. His Spirit moves, His Spirit guides, His Spirit affirms. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, to, to whom, whom all hearts are open, all desires known, known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Most, Most merciful God, God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, I am talking to Ewan Williams, the head teacher of our church school, Sutton Oak. Uh, it's great to catch up with you, Ewan. Hope you're doing all right at the moment in these weird and wonderful circumstances. And um, I thought it'd be really good if we could find out a little bit about how things are for the staff there and the pupils at this time. That's good. Yeah, we're, obviously, it's a very challenging time for the whole school community, Simon. You know, again, I mean, we were told last Monday uh, at very short notice. I mean, we were told Monday morning that schools were safe and that had changed by eight o'clock on Monday night to say that schools were not safe. So I had, the, well, myself, my SLT, and the office staff had the huge challenge of letting, you know, the whole school community know that school would only be open for critical workers and vulnerable children yeah. from the day yeah. after. So that brought with it, you know, a big challenge, which we have, I think, risen to. And currently at the moment, we are educating 70 children out wow. of a total of 330 on roll. Well, I think, I think, on behalf of everyone, we'd like mm. to commend you, not only at Sutton Oak, but as representatives yeah. of schools across the country who are doing just an amazing job in very adverse circumstances. Yeah. Um, I just wonder whether there are any kind of good news stories or any sort of positive things that are joyful at this strange time. I, you, know, you know what, as always with my school, my staff have been absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. They've risen to the challenge because... You got to remember the staff not only have to come into school, but they've also got to provide remote learning yeah, for yeah. the children as well. And when you think about it as well, Simon, staff are 
literally on the front line. You know, yes, yes. this virus is spreading uh, particularly quickly at the moment throughout the whole of the country. And you've been in school yourself, Simon, you know what it's like. It's very difficult to socially distance from yeah. children, particularly younger down the school. And only yesterday, um, only yesterday, another member of staff tested positive. So I've yeah. had to send the year five, six bubble of children home. Yeah. But yeah. not once of any member of staff, um, you know, being critical of the processes we've been put in place. They've given me their full support as ever. So the right. staff, all of the staff have been absolutely fantastic. And also, I think the parents as well. You know, we've had very few parents complain about the difficult situation yeah. that they're yeah. in as well. And also, <laughs> I'd also like to thank governors as well. They've been yeah. very supportive. And as always, your good selves, the church as well, who <laughs> always, you know, offer their support right from the word go. Well, it sounds like a really good kind of team spirit that, that you're describing there. Oh, it is definitely, you know, it is a team spirit, you know, from, from, from the top to the bottom, you know, and uh, obviously my senior leaders have been have been absolutely fantastic as well. They've all risen to the challenge. But yeah, and, you know, the children that have come in as well, they've, you know, they've, because um, they're out the comfort zone as well. They've been put in different bubbles and, you know, routines aren't the same as they mm. usually are. And the children have been fantastic as well. And, right. and I'm also pleased... To, to, to report as well most of the children are engaging with the re remote learning that we're providing oh, as fantastic. well so that's, that's all great. as well yeah 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 well it's, are, it's, no honestly as, as always with with Sutton Oak you know I, I I couldn't praise the staff governors and school community enough they really have been fantastic through the whole of these challenging times from lockdown last March wonderful because it, it's it's so good to hear some positive stories even yeah. in the midst of you know the dark time we're in but just to finish with you and how yeah. how can we as a church pray for the school what kind well, of things I, would you I like us to pray for I, I, as i already mentioned before i mean uh, the staff who are actually on the front line they are li they are literally i think putting their lives at a risk because i mean i'm sure you're aware like everybody else you know the hospitals are filling up with yeah younger uh younger younger adults so um yeah uh, I'd, I'd like to pray for the staff but also i think pray for the children as well because children should be in school they should not yeah. be at home they should be interacting with the friends they should be taught properly by teachers standing at the front of the class and obviously as well we do have a few vulnerable children in our community yeah. as well and we do worry about the vulnerable members, you know, of our school community as well. So it'd be nice if you could pray for those in particular, Sam. Great. Well, let, let me finish by doing that. Right. Father God, we thank you for you and in the staff at Sutton Oak. And we thank you for the pupils. We thank you for this team spirit that there is. But we pray, Father, very soon that there would be an end to these times of uh, learning at home, uh, all the work that goes into remote teaching and all the uncertainty of day to day with the COVID virus. So pray for them in terms of uh, protection and safety and guidance and give great wisdom to you and, and other members of staff as they have to make difficult and often very time pressed decisions. Uh, but we ask for your blessing on them at this time in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Today's reading is taken from John chapter 2, reading verses 1 to 11. Jesus changes water into wine. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Dear woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, my time has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. 
Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He didn't realise where it had come from. Those are the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, everyone brings out the choice wine first and the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink, but you have saved the best till now. This was the first of his miraculous signs that Jesus performed in Cana of Galilee. He thus revealed his glory and even his disciples put their faith in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There was a crisis happening at that wedding. Not everybody was aware of it, but the wine was running out. Fortunately for them, there was a saviour there. A saviour that had come for the whole world's salvation, but who in that instance had come to change the water into wine so that that celebration could be as full of joy as um, everyone had hoped it would be and that um, some people would know, just a few people, that a miracle had happened to make that possible. I love that and I think it is so needed in this world today. A big scale miracle that only God can do and lots and lots of small daily transformations that God makes possible that feel like small miracles in themselves. So can you get in touch with some of the feelings that belonged with that situation? The sense that there is something that's going to run out, something that there is not enough of, something that when it does run out will cause a crisis and will cause um, distress and will cause shame actually and the people that were aware that that was what was about to happen at that wedding that feeling of anxiety and bordering on panic I imagine for some just get a hold of that if it means something to you um, also get in touch with if you can, the longing that there was in all the people at that time for a Messiah, a Saviour that they knew was coming and who would um, put right so much that was wrong in uh, their consciousness, their awareness. Um, uh, they knew that things were not possible to go on as they were. This Messiah was coming to save them. What they didn't know is that Jesus was already there, right there, I mean next to them, and doing this miracle. That's the same today as well. Jesus is right here, right there where you are, and um, his power, his presence, his love, his transforming grace are making things possible in the midst of a crisis that are it's even hard to find words for how amazing his presence and his power are and what they do. So this is what I'm thinking. I want to give him my inadequacy, my edges, my failures, my lack of resourcefulness and see what he'll do with what I offer to him. I want to invite anyone who feels at the edge of their capacity to keep on hoping, to keep on faithful, to keep on going in these difficult times. Give your what little you have to him and see what he'll give back to you. Be aware that in the churches and in the world, God is doing things that are amazing, that could have never happened uh, without all this darkness and difficulty that we're in. I'm not saying that makes the darkness and difficulty and challenge any less awful, 
but that in the midst he's at work and he's doing stuff that really needs doing. So the churches are changing and maybe things will never be as they were and that's for good. Look at us. Look at the way we can worship at the moment, the way we can stay connected across miles. That's amazing. Uh, look at the faithfulness of people at home in their houses holding on um, to him and to their relationship with him and doing the best they can. Look at what he's doing on a big scale in, um, in the world. Look at what's happened in America this week. Look at the prayer that took place at the inauguration ceremony. Look at the words that were spoken about unity and forgiveness and tolerance and reconciliation and humility and integrity. That's so needed in the world at this time. Look at St Michael's Church next door to here, which is at the moment not able to be open for worship, that's what we're doing this way, but which is open offering itself as a food bank to the local community. And so some of the people who come there will be the edge of their resourcefulness, uh, the edge of their capacity to, um, to look after their families. With Jesus, we want to be a part of enabling them to get by at the moment and to find, on a bigger scale, to find some hope and some um, way into the future as well. What's he doing with you? What can you offer him today that he might transform into something a lot more that you can possibly imagine? Look at the bigger picture. Look into your heart for the smaller uh, miracles of grace that are possible every day. Offer what you have to him as we may all do together here in, um, in these times. And let's see what he'll do. Amen. God Most High, your glory continues to surprise our expectations beyond our imagining. Breathe new life into our traditions and familiar practices to prepare your people for your kingdom. Bless and guide the church as it seeks to live your good news. Amen. God Most High, we pray for wisdom and godly leadership in all nations, that they would be symbols of peace, unity and liberty. Amen. God Most High, we pray for children and for young people, for teachers and lecturers, and for these complicated times, we pray for great wisdom and for safety and for well-being. We thank you for Ewan Williams as head of Sutton Oak School, and we pray for him and all his staff and everybody who attends there. Amen. God Most High, you are with us in times of struggle and peace. Strengthen the hand of those who defend the weak and the vulnerable. Give courage to those who dare to establish a just peace. Amen. God Most High, you take our anxiety and rescue us from the pit of despondency. Give hope to all weighed down by concerns and fear. Bring to troubled hearts the light and refreshment of your peace. Amen. God Most High, we join our voices with the great multitude who cry, Alleluia. In this faith and trust we bring before your throne of grace all who have died. May we come to share in the eternal banquet of your love. Amen.
such as this and see, and that leads to what I need. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you. With saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit the broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your, your will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave for you and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Most, Most merciful Lord, Lord your, your love compels us to come in. in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation, and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us, and we in him, and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights Give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope that you set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and remain with you always. Amen. So we send our love and prayers to you wherever you are at this time. Stay safe and we look forward to that day when we will be together. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you.